it's Marvelyn Brown with Inner Word Business Services. So today we're going to be talking about Facebook pages. So you may think your Facebook page is dead. You may look at your uh, reach and the number of people that you're able to contact when you post and you might be thinking that your Facebook page is a waste of time. Well, I'm here to tell you that there are some things that you can do on your Facebook page, some features that will enable you to um, you know, grab some of those people back and even grab more people into your audience. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Marvelyn Brown with Inward Business Services, and I'm back to uh, cover Facebook pages. So today we are going to take a look at my Facebook page, and I'm going to show you some things that you can do to spruce up your page. Now, if you're like me, you know, I really, um, for the last couple of years, I haven't really done that much with my Facebook page because, you know, there was a point where when I would, um, you know, put a post on my page, a lot of people would see it. And then it got to the point where nobody was seeing it. And so it, you know, and you might feel the same way, you know, if you're going to post something and nobody sees it, then, you know, you kind of get to the point where you start doing other things. You start doing other things that work. So with Facebook pages, yes, they have taken uh, your reach away. You don't really, if someone is a, um, a fan or they've liked your page, if you post something, they may see it and more than likely they won't. So we have to look past that and we have to, um, because they've rolled out some features that I really think are great. The other thing about Facebook is um, the ability to target your audience. So if you know who your audience is, you know who you want to reach, Facebook makes it really easy for you to find the audience that you're looking for. You can test different audiences. You can retarget audiences. You can target people who are friends of the people that liked your page. You can do lookalike audiences. You can do so much with Facebook in terms of, you know, advertising that this is really a platform that you can't afford to overlook. So that's why we're going to look at some things today and I'm going to show you how to make your Facebook page um, more interactive and the tools that you need to get that done. So let's go ahead and, and start looking at some of these features. So I'm at my Facebook page and I'm looking at it as the admin. So we're going to make the changes as the admin and then we're going to go and look at it as a visitor. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have a great looking uh, cover image and you can make these cover images in Canva. That's where I made this image. Now if you um, want, I can put a link below this video to Canva. Um, so that you can, you know, take a look and it's really easy to modify the templates that they have in Canva. So I will put a link to that below this video. The other thing that you want to do is you want to have interactivity because a lot of people look at the tab. So this is your tab area right here. So it's right underneath your, um, the name of your company and your uh, picture. So you want to um, have this area spiffed up as well so that when people look at your page, they're going to be looking here. They're going to be looking at your cover image. Um, and you want to put as much information about who you are and what you do on this cover image. So work from any location. That's my overall goal is to help as many people as possible work from any location. And if this, you know, pandemic has, has taught us anything is that we need to be location independent. 
We need to be able to work from home if we need to work from home. We need to be able to generate income for ourselves so that we're not 100% dependent on any one stream of income. If you become dependent on one stream of income, whether it's a job, whether it's a business or whatever, if something happens to that income, then you are lost. Then you're sitting around waiting on someone to give you help. And you know, the, the pandemic has also shown us that you really can't count on anybody other than yourself. So with that said, um, we want to, you know, work from any location. We want to learn as much as we can about technology. And we want to learn about the tools that we can use <clears throat> to make our situation better. And of course, I'm starting to get hoarse. So bear with me. We're going to get through this. Okay, so um, the first thing you do is look at your cover image. If it doesn't really tell people, you know, because you only have a short amount of time to make a great impression. So you wanna have your logo, you wanna have, you know, what you do. And um, I've also put my website. You can't see it right now, but it's there. So when somebody looks at my site as a visitor, they're gonna be able to see what I do. They're gonna see the name of my company and they're gonna see how they can get more information by visiting my website. So then the other thing that you want to do when you are editing your page, you want to go down this side menu. So you want to look at, and I'm going to start out with the settings. Okay, so now we're going to go to templates and tabs. And your tabs are the thing that we just looked at across the top of your page. This is where you set all of that up. So in my case, I've activated you know, using these little radio buttons, you can turn things on and you can turn things off. So now when you see the blue, that means that they are turned on. So these are the tabs that I have set up in my business. These are the ones that um, I can, you know, most um, easily um, show because I want people to look at my shop. I want people to look at my guides. Now guides are something kind of new. And what they do is they enable you to organize your posts by subject. So say for instance, instead of having to scroll through your whole feed in order to see something that you know they're interested in, your visitors are gonna be able to go right to your guides to see all the posts that relate to that subject. So for example, in my case, I have, um, I have a tab or a guide rather that is about social media. So all of my posts that are about social media are gonna go into that guide. So this is how you can set your page up to win because nobody wants to scroll you know, forever to find something that they're interested in. If they don't see something that they're interested in right away, they're gonna click off and go somewhere else. The next thing that I have on my Facebook page is an email sign up. So that way I can grow my email list. And your email list is very, very important. If you just if you're just starting out, you definitely want to start building your list. Building an email list is going to enable you to follow up, build a relationship, and really get that know, like, and trust factor with um with your audience. The next thing I have here is offers. So say for instance, you are, you have a shop or you may be an affiliate for another company. You can put all of your offers here and that will enable people to see when you have, you know, something on sale, when your sponsors have something on sale, um, all of that information can be right here. And of course you wanna have a great about page with a call to action that maybe, you know, in your call to action on your about page can lead to maybe a freebie of some kind, some kind of free thing that will give um, something of value that will give people um, a way to start, you know, interacting with your business. Next, there is an events tab. So if you have a webinar, if you have a, Facebook Live or there's something going on in your business that you want to invite people to, this is where you want to put that information. Now, photos are nice, you know, that's great, but you don't want to just have photos. You want to have 
photos with a call to action or photos that tell people more about your business, maybe behind the scenes or, you know, things that, um, that really speak to who you are as a business. The same goes for videos. Videos are great, um, but Facebook lives are even better. So the next thing is Facebook Live. So this is where all your Facebook Lives are gonna go. Now, if you're someone who is shy, you don't wanna get in front of the camera, you don't wanna really do a Facebook Live, Facebook Live is the best way to hit the ground running with your business. Because if you're adding value, if you are giving your visitors something that they can use to improve their lives, you know, based on your business, um, they're going to, you know, love that, you know, and they're going to come back and they're going to want to get more information. So you want to make your Facebook lives, you know, value packed. You don't want to get on there and start selling or, you know, talking to people about your business um, or about your, you can talk about your business, but not about your company. So for example, um, what I'm thinking about is network marketing. A lot of network marketers are, you know, they're, they're interested in, providing an opportunity, you know, an opportunity to join a business. And so you can turn people off by being too salesy, being too pushy, talking about your products and all of that. You don't really want to approach your Facebook Live with that. You want to approach your Facebook Live with the value, the benefits, the what's in it for me factor. And when you do that, you don't even have to mention the, the name of your company. The thing that you want to do is you want to talk to people who would be a good fit, but you don't want to come across as a salesperson. So those are some of the things that I found are more um, helpful with Facebook Lives. And the great thing about Facebook Lives is you don't have to be on that video forever. You can just do, you know, a quick 15 minute uh, Facebook Live <clears throat> and just deliver, you know, value packed information. Now, the next area is group. So, when you're just starting out, you may not want to start a group. However, you know, the sooner you can start building your community, the better. Um, but you can, you know, you can actually have all of your groups uh, right there on your Facebook page. And then if you're a company that hires people and you want to list jobs, you can do that. Um, this is a place, for example, if you are a restaurant or somewhere where you want to get positive reviews, you can do that. Um, but all of these are the things that you have available under the tabs. So let's um, move on to the next area. Um, we want to look at messaging. So this is the other thing, you know, everyone is on their cell phones. And you want to have um, interact more interactivity uh, with your uh, people who come to your Facebook page. So you definitely want to copy this link. This is your messenger link. So this is going to enable anyone who comes to your page to send you a message. And you want more of that. You want a lot of people to be able to send you messages, ask you questions. You know, and you might even want to provide some customer service in your messenger um, application. So this is something that you want to do as well to make your page interactive. You can copy your link right here. And, you know, you want to share this messenger link on your other social media platforms. You want to put it in your email. Um, if you have an email list, you want to send this messenger URL to your uh, email followers, the people who are on your list, so that they can contact you. So it's just, and you can also add Messenger to your website. So, and there's also, um, if you are able, um, check out ManyChat. ManyChat is also something that is approved to interact with Facebook. So your Facebook page can interact with ManyChat and ManyChat is an approved Facebook bot. And I'll probably do a, um, a video on that as well, but just, you know, look up ManyChat if you get an opportunity. So messaging is also another area that you can use to spruce up your Facebook page. So now I'm gonna go back 
I think I've got everything that I need. Oh, Instagram. So you can also tie in, if you're on Instagram, you can tie in Instagram. You can tie into WhatsApp. And you can also, I think th those are the only two. Okay. So now let's go back and we're going to look at the page. Okay, so now we have got the tab. This is the area that I was just talking about. This is the tab area. And if you, I think you only get three, um, you know, three things that you can put across the top. There may be more, but if you run out of tabs, um, this is where the remaining tabs are gonna be. So the email sign up, the shop, the guides, all the things that I just talked about, they're all right here. Okay, so let me just take you out and I'll show you the tab. So this is my shop and all I did was in, I, you know, I, I uh, integrated the WooCommerce part of my, um, my WordPress site into Facebook and it took like two clicks and then all of my uh, products showed up right here. So it's a very easy way for you to get your products online and you can you know, promote them on Facebook. This is, you know, one of the biggest marketplaces and the biggest um, platforms that you can use to market your products and services. So why not utilize it? Um, here are the guides. These are the guides that I was talking about. So I have a WordPress guide. I have tutorials that I haven't put anything in yet. I have social media. I have how to get more traffic, how to promote your business. These are all questions that I get from people. You know, these are the things that people want to know. So I am still going to be working on populating my guides. This is the button that you want to click on if you want to create a new guide. So that's the guide um, information that I was telling you about. And then here is, when you click on this more, here's my email sign up form. So all I did was integrate my MailChimp with Facebook and I have a form and it looks great. This is the same form that I have set up in my uh, MailChimp account. And all they have to do is just put their email address and their first name and hit sub, uh, subscribe. They can choose HTML or they can choose plain text. So this is a great way for you to get more people on your email list, more people that you can follow up with and more people. Think about this. You know, a lot of times we struggle with trying to find people that we can talk to about our business. And the main thing you want is you want to talk to people who are really interested. You don't want to run down your friends and family. You don't want to make them angry and unfriend you. So this is a great way for you to follow up with people who are really interested in what you have to promote. Um, here is offers. Now I don't have any offers, but you can offer a discount um, to your customers and then your customers are going to get reminders and they will, you know, be able to take advantage of what you have um, to give them. Uh, let's see, events. I don't have any events. However, you can set those up there. Uh, let's see, community. Okay, so I do have a Facebook group and there is my Facebook group. It doesn't have very many people. And see, these are the things that we have to do to, um, to move things ahead with our business. So if you are someone who has, um, you know, you've started your Facebook page, you are hearing crickets, you know, and you post and nobody is there, nobody gets your post, nobody sees your post, then you have to make your page more interactive. Once you make it more interactive, once you add these things that we're talking about today, then you have to do something you know, beyond just sitting back and waiting, you have to possibly run ads. And just like I said earlier, you know, Facebook really makes it easy for you to run an ad because you can select your audience. You can whittle down the details and make sure that you are reaching people who are interested in your products and services. And you may have to tweak your ads, you know, tweak them, work with them, 
um, spend as little as a dollar a day and you can still get data that you can use. So the next thing that I'm going to show you is the business app store. So the business app store gives you the ability to, this is where you integrate the, the uh, third party products. And these are third party products that are approved by Facebook. So when you um, integrate your WooCommerce store, they're not going to, um, you know, take you through a whole bunch of changes because this is an approved partner with Facebook. So if you have an e-commerce store and you use one of these uh, companies, um, you know, feel free to try to get that integration done. All I did with my e uh, with my e-commerce was click, click, and it was done. Now, if uh, you have some a company that is not listed here, then you can uh, go to this page. This is all the companies that they have set up relationships with regarding appointments. So if you're a company that um, relies on appointments, whether you're a realtor or a hairstylist or um, maybe you're someone who wants to close your sales, you know, you close your sales by phone. So you set up appointments. This would be a good place for you to find a company that integrates with uh, Facebook, set that up on your Facebook page and just direct people to your Facebook page to set up an appointment. Reservations, if you're a um, company that relies on those, you can set those up here. And again, the e-commerce uh, partnerships are here. So let me go back. Now we're gonna look at manage app connections. Now this is the last area that we're gonna talk about. As you can see, I have uh, Messenger Chat, and I also have my WooCommerce integration. So these are the two things that I've integrated so far. I also have MailChimp and I'm not really sure where I integrated MailChimp, but MailChimp is also a partner and I have integrated MailChimp so that I could have that email signup form that we talked about. And that was a very easy implementation as well. So now I wanna show you the Facebook pixel. So the Facebook pixel is, um, this is the thing that enables you to retarget um, people who come to your site from a Facebook ad. So as I was saying earlier, Facebook gives you some amazing tools to work with. And it's really in your best interest to learn how to use those tools. So Facebook pixel is one. If you have a WordPress blog, a self-hosted WordPress blog, you can go to your dashboard and you can, um, under plugins, you can search for Facebook Pixel. It's right there and all you have to do is install it and activate it. And once you activate the Facebook Pixel, what will happen is when you run an ad on uh, Facebook, on your Facebook page, you basically do a post or you do a Facebook Live or you know whatever content you put on your Facebook page, you can run an ad. Now you can also run an ad with your products. So lots of different ways to run ads on Facebook. Run that ad and then put that Facebook, make sure that you include the Facebook pixel in your ad. And what will happen is when people visit your Facebook page, you know, and you have to advertise it, and Facebook is also gonna advertise it, when they visit your Facebook page based on that ad, they will be retargeted. So what that means is when they leave your Facebook page and they go to your, um, you know, the content on your, your uh, blog or your sponsor content or whatever you're leading them to, when they go to that, um, that place on your site or your webinar or whatever, um, you will be able to retarget them. So it's a really great tool to have and I can't emphasize it enough. Get on Facebook, use your page, get it spiffy and use your Facebook pixel. Use your, if you have a catalog, um, you know, you wanna get on your Facebook page and you want to optimize your page using the tips that I've given you and then you wanna go out and do an ad. And when you do that ad, that ad will enable you to grab more people and turn them into, um, you know, your audience. 
And hopefully once they become part of your audience, you can turn them into a lead and hopefully a lead will turn into a customer. So that's kind of how it goes. And you know, we'll talk more about that. Um, but now that I've shown you all the different things that you can do to optimize your page, let's take a look at my page. This is the example. So we're going to view it as a visitor. Okay, so now this is how my page looks when somebody lands on my Facebook page. They can see, you know, my cover image. It tells what I do, how to get in touch with me. They have my logo. Um, they can send me a message on Messenger. They can like my page. They know a little bit about me because I have an about um, section. And in this about section, I don't know if I have put a call to action but if I don't have a call to action, I'm going to um, update my about section and make sure that I have that. The other thing that they're going to see is they're going to see my, um, my tabs. So they're going to be able to look at my shop where they can buy items. They're going to be able to look at the guides that I've set up for them because, and that is going to be based on, you know, the topics that my audience want to hear about. They're going to be able to sign up on my page. Um, they're going to be able if I want to do a Facebook live and this is the thing when you do a Facebook live You do it right there on the page and you can tell people hey all you need to do is go um, To my tab area or you can even point to it and say hey Sign up for my email list if you want to stay in touch and they can do all of that right there on Facebook without ever leaving Facebook so that gives you some interactivity. You can point them to articles. You can, you know, um, point them to your events, point them to your offers right there in your Facebook Live. So lots of great things that we can do with our Facebook page. Our Facebook page is not dead, um, but we have to be a little bit on the creative side to make sure that um, we are doing, you know, everything that we can to um, advertise and you know your Facebook page can be advertised on other platforms you don't have to just stick with Facebook you can advertise your Facebook page on Twitter LinkedIn Pinterest all these other platforms that you use you know make it a habit to um, you know create content so that you can share it on these other platforms about your Facebook page so I think I've given you quite a bit. This video has been about 26 minutes long. So um, I look at it kind of as a training video and not just a regular video. Um, but I hope I've given you some uh, tidbits that you can use. And um, I will see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.